Hey guys, Dean here. So in today's video on Counter-Strike 2, I'm going to show you how to download custom maps on Counter-Strike 2. Now, we're not talking about specifically workshop maps, but everyone keeps asking, how do we install workshop maps? How do we install custom content and play those maps that we used to play on CSGO? Well, unfortunately, the workshop hasn't currently been reintegrated into CS2. You'll notice that the old workshop, when you click on it, still has all the old CSGO maps on. But if you subscribe to them, there's no way currently to play those maps in CS2. Counter-Strike 2 lacks the support for it. That's because it's on a completely new engine. It's actually running on Source 2, Source Engine 2. So there's a little bit of an incompatibility problem there. So I'm going to show you a workaround in this tutorial to show you how to install custom maps and custom content onto CS2 manually. Unfortunately, you will have to install everything manually, but process is relatively very simple so let's not waste any more time let's jump into it so now the first thing you can do is while we're just in the csgo settings menu at the top left we can go into the game section and there's something here called install the counter-strike workshop tools so you can click on yes and install that and basically this will require you to find the maps or do the whole maps yourself but this is one method you can do this for. And this is particularly useful for people who are actually mapping themselves. Now, let me show you the main method now. We're just going to close the game. On downloading maps, I'll show you a website where you can go and get the maps from. And then I'll show you how to install those maps manually. And then finally, I'll show you how to test them in the game. This website is one of my favorite websites. This is Game Banana, which used to be called FPS Banana way back in the day. This is where you download all your maps for games like Counter-Strike Source, Gary's Mod. And since the rebrand is still a really great website for game content and they actually have a section on cs2 maps which is mods for counter-strike 2 i'm going to leave the link to this in the top of the description below so you can just go straight to it and i'm just going to download some test maps okay so i'm just going to filter this i'm going to click on most liked down here i'm just going to filter the maps by the most liked and it'll show you the maps with the best feedback you can also go on most downloaded so you can see what the most popular maps are and you can see we have a few maps here so we have de dust 2 classic we have maps like de overpass now, a lot of people are going to love these maps, the classic AWP Lego map, if you ever played Counter-Strike Source back in the past, or even custom community servers on CSGO, you'll know that the Lego maps were absolutely awesome playing AWP on that. Now, before we download that map, I'm just going to also mention there's some categories, if you can see here on the right-hand side, we can filter by things like diffusal maps, bunny hop maps, climb maps, things that's focused around combat and skill, custom danger zone scenarios, DM mode, death run, gun game, rescue, jail break mini games anything optimized for snipers or surf even zombie maps so there's all of these categories and filters you can look for specific custom map types here as well so use those to your advantage and find whichever maps you like like for an example the simpsons maps were super popular as well especially gun game simpsons maps so now we're on the map we mentioned for the example up lego 2 super popular map now you can see this is honestly one of my favorite maps from csgo a lot of you guys will probably remember this if you're playing on like community servers this is like a super old og map that got ported to csgo now all you want to go ahead and do is you want to scroll down and past the description there's just a button this is manual download right click on that download it you'll have to wait a few seconds obviously for the mirror to download just click on download again and it will download in your web browser as you can see behind my camera it's over here go to wherever you download your files to in windows usually in the downloads folder and i'm going to extract this because this is a zip file now i'm going to use winrar but you might use 7zip or maybe you might just open zip files with the default windows file explorer either works just right click and press open and it'll open it with whichever software you have by default so i'm just going to click extract to or lego 2 which will extract it to its own new folder this is if you use winrar you can get that from winrar.com and then i'm going to open up the folder inside all custom maps will use this file format .vpk okay so from here i'm just going to right click on the file and then press cut you can also copy it doesn't matter then in steam i'm going to find my counter-strike 2 game in my library in my game library right click manage browse local files this will then open up the csgo directory from here what you want to do is you want to go to this directory game this is the main one which cs2 uses originally it would be csgo but now it's game and then in here you then want to go to csgo and then go in the maps folder here by default here's all the default maps like cs italy with the vanilla game all we do right click press paste and just paste in the map we just downloaded very simple okay now we have all lego 2.vpk or any map which you downloaded off the website doesn't really matter whatever custom map you downloaded go back to steam and we're just going to launch 
Counter-Strike 2. You can also notice that we have the Counter-Strike 2 workshop tools downloaded now, which we downloaded through the in-game options menu. So if you did choose to do that, that will now download into here. Now, if we click play on the workshop tools, we can just open up that and you can see this is going to be what's used for creators, right? You can launch the tools to create workshop item submissions. So this is for things like skins and custom stuff like, I guess, maps, but not really maps that people can download. This is for that section of the workshop. I'm just going to show you before we test the map. So you know what I'm talking about. In workshop, you have this voting queue this is for csgo but for cs2 this is going to be the same thing where you submit a skin or you submit a map the community votes on it and then they get approved and get into the game if they're popular enough that's basically what this tool is that we downloaded the workshop item tools and that's where you can kind of configure custom content to actually work with the game you can create new add-ons here as well and it might be for just publishing maps and custom content that people can download like maps to the actual workshop that anyone can download soon but I'm not really sure about the actual current status of support for that. But I just wanted to show you and explain what that actually was if you chose to install it. But it's mainly just for actual content creators who are making content for the game. So let's just now play CS2 normally. Just press play Counter-Strike 2. Right, boom. So now we're in the game. Go to the settings menu and then go to game. And you want to make sure that this setting, enable developer console, is actually enabled. And press yes if it's not. Then now you want to press the tilde key, which is the key which is located under the escape key on your your keyboard and that will toggle the cs developer console console looks a little bit different in cs2 you may remember what it looked like in cs go it was a little bit more flat looks really nice actually but that's besides the point so now what you want to do is you want to type in map and then from here you can literally launch any map in the game so it could be a vanilla map or a custom map you'll notice the top of the list is usually actually the custom maps you've installed so i have up lego 2 which is what we actually downloaded so i can just click that and then now we can just press enter in the console to launch our custom map and it'll just set up a local server with some bots and we can now just test the custom map that way so it's as simple as that there's not really like an interface section to create private games as easy as there was in csgo cs2 is still a little bit incomplete in that sense which is why you'll see the workshop support is kind of lackluster right now but this is the workaround this is how you can install any custom map from game banana and just use a simple console command to test it obviously the console command you can change the game mode so if you want to launch this on like deathmatch mode you type in map the map name and then space game mode space deathmatch or space casual that's how you can launch a server with a custom game mode as well at the same time so that's how you would launch custom maps that's the end of this tutorial so it would be just to close out map the map name game mode casual something like that that's how to load into the map Note that some maps will be a little bit glitchy right now and some won't work, but they all behave in the same way. So if this video was useful to you, smash the like button and press subscribe. And if you've got any questions about this video or if you're stuck with anything, comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible.